now. GMT is also historically based on the rotational time of the Earth, about 86,400 seconds in a day, which might be close, but it's not exact. And again, because it's not exact, it's not great for science, and hence not great for computing either. UTC, on the other hand, doesn't change like that. It's not a time zone. It's more like a constant in that it doesn't change with daylight savings or your longitudinal position. It's a scientific unit based on the scientific calculation of a day, which is 86,400.002 scientific seconds, or SI. Now, you've also all heard of using leap years to make up for the addition of one February day every four years. Well, this difference between the average second and the scientific second, the 0 0.002, forces us to add what are called leap seconds to make the two, GMT and UTC, in line with each other. All right? Hey, this is Scotty from Code Panic, and this was just a tiny snippet of my web application masterclass series. If you're interested in increasing your skill set, staying ahead of the coming AI wave, and learning to build web-based applications, check out my web application masterclass series over at codepanic.tv. I know you're going to like what you see.